we are at Nike Hat Workshop. Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I remain your G, Arenga. Yes, <laughs> we are still in Oshobo, ah, Oshobo City, in Osho State, Nigeria, West Africa. Yes, we are still talking about hats. Yes, hats. That's what we are talking about now. So we are at Nike Hat Workshop. You can see, this is the week's workshop. We've been to the art gallery and uh, this is the workshop. Yes, this is the workshop. We've been to the art gallery. So let's make our entry through this place. And um, from what I can see, it's like the first spot of call is a uh, the cover, this is the carving sector. So I have here the edge of the carving sector in person of Mr. Adewumi. Adekunle. Adewumi Adekunle. Wow. Ha! Huh. It's been how many years? Since how many years have you been doing this? Uh, more than 27 years. More than 27 years. Yeah. Wow, this is wonderful. Ha! <laughs> member of fifth generation of wood carving. In Nusi, in Kwara State. Wow, wow, wow. This is wonderful. So, if someone wants to learn this, how, well, how will that person enroll? Uh, if there's somebody who wants to learn this calf, calf here, you will first go to manager, that is coordinator, our coordinator in Nikkei Arts Center. After that, you will come back to workshop. Any, we have different type of uh, carving. We normally do carving. That is, uh, there is one we call statues, and another one we call a uh, panel. So that panel, we have different panel. So if it is panel, there is another. You can see here a box. We call it text box. That box, we make it for the person that if they want to get something like the box. Whatever, whatever I want to get outside, inside the box, you can keep it there. So we have different type of uh, carving. Big one, that is, we have uh, marks that we call So it. like, uh, what you're saying is that this box is for people to keep anything there? Yes, you can see inside the box. So you can easily open it and get something okay, inside Okay, okay. It's something like a box. That we are using in the house. So this is another table. That is the center table. Did you make this by yourself? Yeah, I made it by myself. So it's, it's very light. I use what we call the uh, wood. That is cordial wood. We have uh, mahogany wood. We have uh, uh, cocoa wood. And we have banana wood. And we have uh, thick wood. This is thick wood. And this is uh, our um, wood. The one that I'm using here, you can see one we call uh, the Rokefa, using by an herbalist. And you can see this is ashes. We call it Ogo issue. So, um, uh, so different type of things we are doing. You are welcome. It's, a, it's nice uh, speaking to you, and uh, we wish you all the best. So let's uh, go in and uh, see other things that they do in this uh, uh, workshop. Yes. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir.
does kill us. That's the painting uh, section. So let's meet uh, our people here. I learned the workshop manager is here. So here we have the workshop manager. In person of Mr. Lawal Sahid. Wow. Ha! Ah. This workshop is big. So before before I speak to you, let me go around first. Ah, ah. I was thinking that it's a very small workshop, but why don't you? Ah. I don't want to parish in me. Wow. Well done, my brother. My brother, you're not going home, yo. Say what, Yami? Wow. Hey, Pusha. Hello. So these are the pots. So, my wonderful people, we are live and direct at uh, Nike at uh, 
centre and this is the workshop. So, however, I have with me someone that is also a professional. You might have seen him in one of our videos and uh, he's in person of Mr. Adesoyola. So, he's going to tell us, he's, he also works with uh, 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 Nikke Hart Gallery and uh, he's been part of uh, Nikke Hart Gallery as well. So, he needs to explain some certain things to us about, you know, how this Adire, you know, Adire are being made, yes. So, you are welcome. This is Nikke Hart Workshop and this is the dye pot. We produce, we make the dye, the indigenous dye from these dye pots. We have the indigo leaves at that downside. Indigo leaves. We collect the leaves, we pan the leaf with mortar. And when we pan the leaf with mortar, when it is smooth enough in the mortar, it too, we make it like tennis ball. The reason for making it like tennis ball is that to dry to preserve it we dry it it become dry when it become dry we preserve it in a room whenever the reason why we preserve is that during the dry season there is scarcity of leaves on the on the tree so we preserve it whenever we want to make our indigenous dye we, we take about 30 or 60 balls we put it of the preserved indigo balls we put it there then there is a water that we are going to add to the dye balls put in the... Is it a special water or it's just normal water? special water, water just okay. ordinary water. Okay. That is what I'm explaining. Okay. The water that we are going to... The alkaline solution. Okay. From the cocoa pod ash. Okay. Cocoa pod ash... Cocoa pod is being burnt into fire. When it is become an ashes, we put it in a pot. Under these pots, we perforate the pots at the, at the bottom here. We put the wire gauze at the perforated place. Then we put the cocoa pot ash there. Yeah. Then we put enough water there. Then it filters down. When it filters down, we use the small calabash or small cup to collect the filtrate from cocoa pot ash. We join it to the dye balls, the indigo dye balls that's already dry, dry. Then we allow it to, to ferment for between 7 to 14 days. Wow. After 7 to 14 days, the dye is ready. Wow. That is natural dye. That natural is non-chemical dye. dye. Non-chemical dye. Different from the one we are using, sodium hydrosulfide, sodium sulfide, or caustic soda. This is non-chemical. Can you hear that? Non-chemical dye. So this is the leaf that he mentioned. This is the leaf that he mentioned. So this is the leaves. We pan this smoothly. And we make it like tennis, but when we go down, I will show you the already panded one okay. in my studio. We see it there. We see the already one, which I'm going to show you. So, thank you very much, sir. Let's see um, what they are doing over there so that uh, are they students or what? They are the artists. They are the students of the gallery now, trained here, but now they are professional. Okay, they are now professionals. They, are now professional. they were trained Train, here. Train other people that doesn't know nothing about art. Wow. They That's train good. them. They are professional artists, they train those who don't, who, who don't have any knowledge of dying or doing pattern. This is the divine candle. Mm -hmm. 
Here we are, live and direct at uh, the workshop of uh, Hart Nike uh, at uh, Nike Center for Art and Culture. Okay, Nike Center for Art and uh, uh, Workshop. Nike Center for Art and uh, what? Culture Workshop. Nike Center for Art and Culture, Culture Workshop. workshop. Oshogo. Can you hear that? Say that again. Nike Center for <laughs> Art and, and Culture Workshop, Oshogo, Oshun State. So, you can see. Ah, there's no lazy person here. They are all working here. Honestly, honestly. So, let me come back to the manager. Mr. Saeed, well done. I've been, I've gone round the the workshop and uh, I've seen a lot of things. I don't know if there's any of these things that you want to elaborate or talk about to us. Yeah, um, I can only talk on Batik. Well, okay. We call it Batik. But some people call it Kampala, but it's, it's not Kampala, it's Batik. So we work on Batik. Then we used, to, um, we used to have students from different schools, like university and polytechnic, for CUS or um, IT. So to come and learn how to make Batik and turn that. Yeah. So the process of batik, we just we only really work on 100% um, cotton material. So we work on siphon, we work on silk, we work on vinyl uh, brocade and tea sets. So before anything, we, this is um, the type of guinea book that we use. So first of all, you have to. Okay, so this is guinea brocade. This is guinea brocade. So first of all, we have to raise it to remove the factory starch so that when we are trying to apply the candle wax, do you know? Okay, this is candle wax now. This is candle wax. So, so after raising it, we now create a design that I want to do on it. Like what, like what I'm doing now, the factory color is white. So I use candle wax. This is candle wax. This is new candle wax. But the, this one that we are using, you know, this one looks colored. We find one. We use it. Okay. So, first of all, I work on white fabric. to protect. I use this candle wax to protect the factory color, yeah, golden yellow and pink. So now I'm trying to cover the pink the blue, and yellow. So all these parts that are going to be last color. So last color of this one can be navy blue or purple. So after dyeing it, you have to leave it for like one hour to check to to check the fabric if it colors come out very well. Okay. So after that, you have to erase it because of chemicals. Wow. Then you have to boil water. To remove the wax. The wax, okay. And then from that, from hot water to good water. Okay, water so okay. after that, you now use it very well, then start it to iron it. So that is good. So this one that I'm doing is boss work. So we have only like this one that I've already seen before. So okay, all the ones that I've seen. Okay. Okay. In case, um, what if uh, someone wants to enroll here? What does it take? Wow, can you hear that? You can see that it's not quite different from what uh, we had at uh, the gallery over there. So, um, I have to uh, give it a round off now and uh, cut it off right from here. I believe you've all gained one thing or the other from this wonderful uh, documentary of uh, the uh, Nike Art and Culture Center uh, workshop. So till I come your way, same time with another wonderful and interesting video, I say bye-bye and uh, oh, that.